So you want to be a shot stick expert. You want to be able to do stuff like this. Beverly kicks the Ooh. Ball. Out left to the wing. Puts up a three. Damn. And this. Defending. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Green. Let's go. And even this. Give me the ball, Paul George. Junior. That falls nice. 40 layup, chat. Four. It's really easy. It's not as hard as it looks. Just make sure you pay attention to the video. Leave a like on the video. Let's get this video to over a, a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. And I'll drop the jump shot that I'm using along with this because the jump shot is goaded also. And it's for big men also. So look, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications. Let's get you all better at shooting because you're able to use the, the, the shot stick. And even if you can't use the shot stick for shooting, I'm going to show you how to use it for layups. And you'll never miss another layup again. So rock with your boy, man. Dino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. All right, so on the screen right here, what you guys see is my controller. And I'm going to show you how to use the shot stick. The number one thing with the shot stick is this you don't want to press the key or you don't want to pull the stick down too early but the other thing is you don't want to be here 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 or anywhere here when you're using the shot stick the shot stick very subtle nudges from right to left right to left toward down very subtle nudges you almost want to be if you place your hand on top of the stick like this, right? Your finger on top. You almost want to be rolling it against the bottom right here. And you can see it right here how I'm just kind of rolling it against the bottom. Rolling it, rolling it around like this. You see that? You see how you can do that? You just want to roll it against the bottom of your control. So when you when you pull, now I got to get back recalibrated because I done gone too far. You almost want to, I mean, the very 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 small corrections is what you want to do and once you get to that part once you once you get that down pat you can start pulling the left trigger to lock in your timing and then that will help your your odds if you just because sometimes you're going to be there and you just going to feel like once you start using it more and more you'll know the ones that you're not going to be able to get there right so what you can do is you can just try to like that one. I knew I'm gonna be able to get it there in time, so I just tried to get the time and bonus. A lot of them can be green. A lot of them, you, you're not gonna have to do anything. My boy Sam Fam put out a video and he said, one way that you can help yourself out is, is while the ball is in the air, prepare yourself by go, you, you go up and then you come down. So you go, you, you click the stick up, come down, and then it'll be in the middle a lot of the times. What that's gonna do is just help you just help you get used to get your getting your fine motor skills on the stick right. Me, what I like to do is I just wait for the ball to hit his hand and then I start doing it. But the Sam Fam method, I'm gonna leave that link in the description. It will definitely help you out a lot. Now let's get to shooting some greens. Like the main thing is you just want to be able to just roll it. And like I said, once you get good at it, you will be able to tell yourself okay how far do i need to go how far is this how far is that but you will never have to go that far if you wait till the ball almost hits it you see what i'm saying all right so i'm gonna hold the stick now i'm holding the stick right now right you see how that's kind of close right but if i if i wait till the ball hits his hands it's almost on it so what you really want to do is get it as close to down as you can and then just i mean just very slight rotations very very slight rotations against the bottom and like i said you're gonna see it very slight corrections once you get some badges and like i said i will put out a video tomorrow if you're a big man on how to get your badges like right now i feel so comfortable with the stick that i don't even pull the trigger often i feel like that's a wasted millisecond pretty much to where i could have just been just been timing it right there if i had to pull the trigger I would have I would have gotten it would have gone in but right there I pulled the trigger and it was already green pulling the trigger is not necessary I'm not pulling the trigger on 90% of these shots and if I am it's only because I've gotten used to it 
once you train yourself to do it, you, it's just gonna, with, with the shot timing, it's just gonna be like a, a, a second nature. But don't concentrate on that first because if you if you do, if you do concentrate on that, your hands are not gonna be steady enough. And sometimes you're gonna pull that left trigger because pulling the right trigger, like this is what's gonna happen you pull the, well, you can probably pull the right trigger, but pulling that left trigger, sometimes what it's going to do is um, it'll throw you, it'll throw your hands off, and you it'll throw your um, throw your dexterity off on the right thumbstick, and you'll um, and you'll probably miss. So you can do left stick or I mean left trigger or right trigger. Like right there, I did right trigger. I don't know why I did it right there, but right there I did right trigger to to kind of lock it in, get my timing right. Right trigger seems like if you if you've gotten to the point where you can grip it well. Right trigger does seem feel a little bit better, but I've just trained myself to lose to use to use left. When you're practicing this, do not practice this on Hall of Fame. Practice this, practice on pro and move up incrementally. Don't worry about what nobody else says you're shooting on because they're shooting like garbage. That's why they're on this video too. That's all you gotta remember. When you get your hot zones, it will be way more forgiving. I mean, you're not going to really miss at all. And like I said, with this combination of corner specialist and range extender right now, corner on, I'll show you my badges in one second. Corner is on, uh, is, is on silver and the other one is on gold. Uh, it's, it feels like I can just shoot the ball. It's just so natural, but that's the main thing. I think what a lot of people were doing is this right here. If you look up at the controller, they were doing this right here when they were trying to do the corrections, and that's not right. When you're doing the, when you're correcting yourself, just very small, very small movements towards straight down, and you're gonna be good to go. Like I can tell you, I really feel like this dude is really gonna be able to shoot the rock when I get out there into the park, but. I can't prove it yet because I refuse to go out there without my bags. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to be a liability. And I tried to go to the park today, but you know, y'all know what happened. It got kind of broken. I couldn't. But I really feel like once I get catch and shoot corner specialist and all them, all my badges on it, I will be able to shoot the ball the way that I want to shoot it. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about is layups. Layups and fades are two of the easiest things. It seems like layups and fades will be hard. Really, really, really easy. Fades, this makes fades easy as pie. I'm not even lying to you. Running fades, post fades. I can't do post fades yet because my post fade is not up. Look at this running fade. This is a big man. Running fades. Running fades are easy. Layups are super easy. And it's just like what you want to do when you're doing your running fades, same thing. Hold it down until, and same thing as with the layup. You're going you're gonna to hold it straight down. I mean, I can even do this with this guy. Yeah, buckets. Like, you'll be able to do this type of stuff because what you're going to do is same thing. Hold it straight down when you're fading. And uh, it seems like more often than not when you're shooting off the dribble, if you see him fading and you're already holding it straight down, you're going to be good. Layups, considerably more difficult. When you're doing when you're doing a layup, another thing is this. You're going to learn this. This the uh, thing moves. It moves uh, by itself too. So when you, the, uh, the actual bar, the bar moves by itself a little bit. Sometimes, like right, like some of them, you'll see me not move it much because I know it's going to end up being green because the the uh, zone is going to do it, but like that one, I had to move it. But layups and reverse layups. Reverse layups, really easy. A lot of people say it's hard for them to hit layups and reverse layups. Go in, choose your hand. As soon as you see them in the animation, you pull down on the stick and um, you'll see it like right here. Look, boom, I'm going to do a left hand layup. That's what you want to do. As soon as you see them, you pull down on the stick. You should pull, and the reason I'm saying pull down and, and not up, like the uh like Mike and all those guys say, I'm saying it because of this. When you pull out when you've practiced a million times going and doing something and pulling down, trying to do it going up is gonna suck. And I mean I, I think that's like an ENA thing where it's just telling me I'm gonna miss those layups because of uh because of the, the rim or whatever. Or maybe it's the bar against the rim. I can't really tell. But 
as soon as you see him go into his layup animation, pull the stick down. And, you, and you're seeing what I'm doing on the, on the thing right there. As soon as I see him doing his layup animation, pull the stick down, and then you just wait for it, and you'll just have a very small adjustment to make. It won't be much. And I, I'm gonna be the shot stick king. You guys are the head of the game with the shot stick game, and we gonna do this thing, man. I'm telling you, once I get this build finished, uh, I'm gonna make, make I'm gonna make a guard on Xbox. And I'm gonna go crazy with that guard on Xbox, man. But look, this is this is pretty much the whole tutorial. You guys really just need to see what my hands are doing while I while I'm doing it. And like I said, with layups, as soon as you see him go into the animation, go ahead, pull down, pull down on the stick, and then be ready to look for it. Now, I'm not mad at you. If you're somebody that says I just can't get it because I'm just not that good, I don't have that, that level of dexterity, and it's just not for me, that's okay. You don't have to use the stick. Don't use it. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, don't use it if you, if you don't feel comfortable with it. But when you do get comfortable with it, it, it makes the world a difference. And it's like, the way that I plan to do it is this. Regular shots, we're probably gonna be using the uh, square, but on fades and stuff like this, uh, fades, layups, all of that, I'll be using the stick. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. Was this a good tu tutorial? Was it not? Was I unclear on something? Did seeing the uh, the controller up top help? I hope it did, man. And it's just hard for me to make reverse layups. Are you are you guys smoking reverse layups out there? I can't really tell, but as you can see, I mean, I can green them and I can hit them, but the problem is, well, I'm, I'm gonna show you what the problem is in a second. So you can green them and hit them, but this is what the problem is. Y'all gonna laugh at me for this. 44 driving layup, and I'm making layups. And I, obviously they're not contested, but in my career they are contested and I'm still making them, man. It is what it is, man, like I said. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative. If you did like the video, thousand likes. If you made it this far, put gym stars down in the comment section. And if we get a thousand likes on the video, I'll go ahead and drop the jump shot. And uh, you know, I'll take care of you guys. Now, if you made it this far, I'm gonna drop the jump shot for you right now. Because you know, some people cut out early. If they cut out early, they lost. But this is a good jump shot for a big man. Uh, this is this is the jump shot that I'm using right here. Jason Kidd base, Paul George, Rudy Gay, 80-20 split, maximum speed. That's what I'm using. It's a good jump shot. I feel like I feel like once I get more badges, I will like it even more with square, but right now I am forced to use the stick because they just won't let me hit consistently, you know, using shots. But anyway, man, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Until next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak! Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't buying I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I can give a hard transplant to a giant I ain't lying, God speak We good